Welcome back everybody to Forza Mod Spot 7. So we're continuing on in the Evolution Championship and we're going to do the Hot Hatch Genesis series today and probably do four of the races then do the final two and maybe the Ford Bronco were showcasing in the next episode. So yeah, let's uh, get started. Here's where it all started for the Hot Hatch. The Golf, Fiesta and Civic showed the public you could have a lot of fun in a small package. Strap in one of the first hatchbacks I'll learn what makes these small, sporty cars so popular even decades later. So yeah, I'm going to choose the 1993 Renault Clio Williams. And uh, yeah, got 150 horsepower, 136 pounds feet of torque, and weighs 2,230 pounds. And there are the stats, so this has obviously been slightly upgraded from what it was stock, but not by a massive amount. It's only got a newer tread of tyres, slightly wider tyres front and rear, slightly more power, and it weighs a little bit less, so... Yeah, not a massive difference. Let's get in it. Right, we're at Catalonia. We've got uh, three laps and 1.85 miles each. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. For some reason, we're on a rolling start. So, yeah, nice variety of cars in this series. Obviously, most of us are front wheel drive, but there's the. Uh, Odd oddity in the, out of that lot. Renault 5 Turbo, for instance. Which obviously, is not. Chose this Renault purely because it's a bit more of a race inspired. Being obviously a Partly designed by the uh, Williams Racing uh, guys. Clear didn't have the most power when stopped, but it was pretty much up there with the higher uh, horsepower cars. The likes of the Civic in front of me had more power. Renault 5 Turbo. Like I say, in the Civic, the Renault 5 Turbo were more powerful than this stock, so it's no surprise that they're quicker than me on the straights. Come on, don't be starting to slow down with this series. Gaining on the Renault, or oh, fellow Renault. Arr, try to uh, go a 
little bit uh, later on the brakes there, but that did not work out. Gaining, gaining, gaining. Ah, oh, look how close that was. But there we go. So, uh, not the best start that we've had to a series, but it could be worse. We have been lower down on the first race before. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully that's going to be uh, useful enough uh, later on in the uh, series. So, uh, yeah. Let's get moving on to the next race. Alright, we're on a pretty boring version of Monza at 1.51 miles a lap and 5 laps. So, yeah, this isn't the uh, most exciting circuit ever, but let's get going anyway. So, yeah, this is basically just a straight, two straights with a few corners added on either end. As exciting as the uh, standard uh, monster circuit, that's for sure. But even with these small hot hatchbacks, we're uh, struggling for s uh, room on this track, which is weird. <laughs> decent top speed on this car of about 140 so certainly not going to uh, run out of uh, speed in general I don't know why the uh, driver tires have their own liveries I distinctly remember having that turn off This kind of truck which truck would you be chosen with cars that are only in D class and not all that 
powerful. Come on. Speed. Volkswagen's aren't proving all that fast today. Come on, beat the Honda. Go. Well, at least we've improved the power position from the previous race, but we'll be doing a bit better than fifth in general. Easily gaining on the five turbo there. By Honda. Come and beat the Civic on the uh, final straight. we can. Not going to beat first place though, even though we are gaining as you can see. But that was a pretty solid run. I uh, did three times as well as we did last time. Just in terms of positions, never mind in terms of drivability, etc. So yeah, pleased with how that one went. Should get plenty of points out of that and hopefully move up the leaderboard. Yep, we're in third place now, and we're, on, we're not all that far behind second and first, so... Yeah, let's uh, move on to the uh, next race. Right, we're at Bernie's Alps uh, for three laps, 2.52 miles a lap, and let's uh, get started. And Bernie's Alps is a track that you need to keep your speed up. And, uh, it's very rarely that you have to the brakes heavily so you need to keep your momentum up and I know I've turned the driver to all the liveries off but it could at least be a bit more imaginative with the colours But, as usual, the driver tiles are not very good in Bernie's outs. You don't quite get the idea of not needing to always brake, even if it's a corner. You can't just let off or hold your speed at a certain speed that you're at.
good position as we are on the second lap now. Gaining on the Renault. Final lap. First place is still some way ahead, but hopefully we'll gain. Like to go first at least once in this episode. there. Alright, a little bit too much speed. Hate this hill bit. So slow. I have to set off for second place again. But, you know, at least it's uh, alright. Gaining those points, hopefully, will put us in second place this time round. Or maybe even higher, because uh, number four in this race is the guy in first, so maybe we've gained enough points on him, I'm not sure. Will be five points behind, but we are only five points behind, which should hopefully be able to be a make up in the next race, which is going to be the final one for this episode. So let's get on it. Right, so we're at Prague, a short reverse, three laps, and how many? Yeah, 1.82 miles a lap. Right, let's get going. This is a lot like the Bernie's Alps uh, circuit. You have to keep the speed up. Hopefully, we uh, come first this time round. Be nice to end this episode on a win.
always preferred Prague to the Bernie's out circuit, to be honest. Not sure why, but especially considering they're both fake, but uh, I just prefer this one. I think it looks a lot better. I like the different kind of surfaces that it has to offer up. And it just flows a little bit better for me. It's a little bit more challenging, I find. Out front is the uh, current leader uh, in the leaderboard overall got to beat him, otherwise we won't overtake him to run this episode on. Last lap to try and take the lead. Not just in this race, but the leaderboard overall. And we've done it. Yes. Yay, end of the episode on a win. So yeah, that went pretty well, well that did. Just hope that the driver tiles are a little bit dumb on these kind of circuits. The more, far more suitable to, for, uh, you know, traps that actually exist than uh, these faker ones. But yeah, that still uh, went pretty well. And we should take the lead now in terms of the leaderboard overall. Yeah, there we go. But we've only got a 10 point lead. So uh, yeah, we uh, need to be on the... Uh, you know, defensive with the final two races that I'll be doing in the next episode. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye.